What's up, man? Parlay passing the A, man. We in Kansas City. Actually, no, we not even in Kansas City. We in fucking Kansas, bro. We, I ain't never been here before, but shit, we here. My name's Ted Park. Uh, I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, but I'm based in LA. And this is my first time in Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri <laughs> State. You're from Wisconsin. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Born and raised, 608. I mean, we're definitely not like K-pop artists, but we are like Korean artists. So, yeah. like, you know. Um, we're not like out there like oh that's not k-pop but uh yeah shout out to k-pop though man bg is black <laughs> pink doing the thing yeah i fuck with korean hip-hop korean hip-hop is dope i mean there's a lot of dope korean hip-hop artists and like we're korean so we're yeah. under the same genre as yeah. k-hip-hop and a lot of our friends are artists in korea that are doing well that are in k-hip-hop i feel like yeah. for us like we're korean american artists like we're american artists that are also korean and we want to kind of like be the bridge and like bring our own sauce to both america yep. korea and the rest of the world you know Shit, we just got back from Korea. Like I was there for like two and a half months, and he was there for like a month. So we like reconnected with our roots out there. But like, Korea's crazy, man. You just you know that whole like culture out there and the lifestyle. Like if you go to Korea, you'll know. Like you partying, you drinking soju, you drinking, you wilding out, working on music, doing all types of stuff. So Korea's a good time, man. I definitely yeah. had a good experience Maybe out there. Up. <laughs> yeah, they be getting turned out there. So it was it was a lot of fun, man. So I love going out there for a little bit, you know uh, what I mean? K pop doesn't get a lot of radio play per se. Even though it's a huge thing right now. Right? But we actually had the number one song on 931 Jams in Madison. Most requested song. First ever number one from a local artist. So even though I don't live in Madison no more, that's my home forever. So we're super blessed for that. Shouts to DJ Fusion, shouts to 931 Jams. Yes, sir. God did. <laughs> did you know that KKFI has a K-pop show? It's How You Wednesdays from 7 to 9 with Emma, Megan, and Trish. Why not listen in? I have been doing the 2 a.m. slot once a month for the last four months. Again, just because I love the music, it's important to get it out when it first drops. And then I had learned when I was in training, I started monitoring when new songs come, when do they typically get pushed out on commercial radio? And I noticed the Western influence versus anything that was not Western. Those individuals that were not Western artists, it was sometimes on average three months before their song would even come out on air. Mm -hmm. And yet, if it was a Western artist, even collaborating with an Asian artist, that song would be out within two days or three days. A good example is Bad Decisions with Snoop Dogg in it, BTS mm -hmm. and Benny. It was out within two days of dropping. We don't want to misrepresent. We don't try to present information that we don't have background on. We don't try to present words that we can't pronounce. So we actually have, as I said, a translator that works with us. We find a lot of people just here, they're in love with an idol or two or three or this group or that group. A lot of people in our community, I love, they don't just stand one group. They're, they're, they're like very various coming here. We're going to go support them. They're not as large as like Monster X or ATs or Stray Kids, but we're gonna support them because they're coming to our communities. They're coming to Lawrence, but we will go and support them. People will drive from Leavenworth, people drive from Topeka, people will drive from Springfield to come to us. And that's what I love about this community is that anybody that comes, we're gonna go and support because we value them and we want to show them the respect that we want to see them and we want them to come back because we're a secondary market here just like Iowa mm. so you we rarely get concerts here we really have to push and pull for it and so we're trying to change that that's why we're doing the concert tonight is to change the face of what individuals know about Kansas City yeah this is crazy because I was in Toronto last weekend for like 2,000 people y'all way more live bro <laughs> You know, just because culturally, when I'm around other Asian people that I grew up with, the fact that I'm a rapper is like crazy to them. I've actually never, before this show, I've never performed with another Asian artist. I just don't think there was any other Asian artist to get in contact with that was, you know, over in the area. It was honestly a culture shock for me personally, you know, because I'm usually the culture shock, but just to be around other culture shocks was super dope. And seeing and hearing about how, like, their family supports them and pushes them with this music stuff, it, it was great. I've never experienced that before. 
I thought it was dope that, you know, I was even given the opportunity to get on this bill, you know, even though it was a Korean show, the whole purpose or intent behind this show was to put a spotlight on Asian artists, um, specifically in hip hop and R&B genre. I didn't feel different, you know, for a moment. I thought we were all Vietnamese and at, at times I thought I was Korean, you know, like I, it didn't even cross my mind that, oh, I'm Vietnamese and they're Korean. I just felt like we were all one, and that's the best part about the whole show. But how cool is that? You know, music and music culture has progressed so much. Like, we, we in the Midwest, we in the heart of Kansas, about to do a Korean, representing Korean hip hop. Like, that's so cool. You know what I mean? So, we're, ha we're excited to be here. We're happy to be here. You know, done a lot of cities this year, done a lot of shows. Um, it's cool. Like, it's not even about the headline. Like, we're just happy to be performing in a new city. Yeah. We're gonna tee y'all up. Mm -hmm. I fucking love y'all. Thank y'all so much.